but let's take a look at how this one unfolded for us. The Elite Women's Short Track World Cup. It was Puck Peterson and Lyra Steger who led the early encounters as they did the short but sweet start loop. Steger looked good, but as Bart rightly asserted, maybe burnt a few matches along the way. Zena Fry also took her turn at the front. Really dynamic style, really low over the bike. Great to see Zena Fry in front of the home crowds. Keller was in amongst it throughout, as was Jenny Risfeds. The wrist feds bided her time. She let multiple riders come past her, come to the front and have a dig without ever exerting too much energy. Peterson in amongst it. The wrist feds, when she's in the form, when she's in the mood, inscrutable. Poker face on. Front group was sizable. A winner could have come from anywhere. Pauline Ferran Prevo rode a similar race to Risfeds actually, just kept herself at the front and in amongst it. Kept her nose clean. But then Risfeds went. And they sort of squabbled to find out who was going to come after her. And ultimately, no one could pen her back. <laughs> Jenny Risfids, one of the best descenders in the cross-country game. And if you give her space on the descent, you have got to be going some to pen her back in again. Risfids led them up onto the final uphill sprint to the line, but ultimately there was no sprinting to be done. No one could catch her. Keller came second. Pauline Ferran Bravo came third. Here is then a recap of those results. The results then for the second round of the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Short Track World Cup. Jenny Risfitz, Alessandra Keller, Pauline Ferran Prevost, Puck Peterson and Anna Tauber, your top five.